Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the application of moment method for estimation of the parameters of the binomial distribution. So, given the binomial distribution defined as the probability mass function is equal to n x, that is n c x, that is the uh, binomial function, and then we have p power x, and then 1 minus p for n minus x where the values of x are from 1 to n x is equal to 1 to n that is it can take any value between 1 and n so so for this binomial distribution uh, recall that the mean value that is expectation of x is given by n into p and the variance that is the variance of x is given by n p into 1 minus p so this is these are from the theory. Now let us look at the next step. That is, uh, we also have uh, information from data. That is, the sample mean, that is x bar, is given by 1 by n summation i is equal to 1 to n x of i. So that is the sample mean, where x of i are given data with i is equal to 1 to capital N that is the data and these are this is the sample mean so that is the sample mean similarly we also have sample variance sample variance given by s underscore x as 1 by n summation i equal to 1 to capital n and then x of i minus x bar whole square whole square so this is sam that is the sample variance so we have the expression for sample mean and an expression for sample variance. So the method of moment basically uh, tells us that we can equate them to solve for the unknown parameters. So from theory we have sample from theory we have that the mean is equal to n into p and from data it is the sample mean given by this average. So we equate them and similarly uh, the variance is given by n p into 1 minus p from theory and from data it is uh, this uh, the definition of the sample variance so let us equate them to solve for the unknown parameters that is basically n into p from uh, theory gets equal to or becomes equal to 1 by n summation over i is equal to 1 to n x of 5 let us give this one uh, or it is equal to x bar in other words so, and similarly for the variance n p into 1 minus p is equal to 1 by n summation i equal to 1 to n x of i minus x bar whole square so these are the expressions so from these two equations we can clearly see that this 1 minus p that is by simply substituting n p equal to x bar in this equation we can clearly see that 1 minus p is equal to the sample variance divided by the sample mean or in other words summation i equal to 1 to n x of i minus x bar whole square divided by the sum of the values that is summation i equal to 1 to capital n x of i therefore the estimate for the probability parameter p that is p hat is given by 1 minus it is given by 1 minus the sample variance by sample mean or in other words 1 minus this total sum of squared deviations divided by sum of the values so that is the expression for the probability parameter p and from equation and p equal to x bar we can easily say that so from the first equation we can clearly see that n into uh, the uh, p hat is equal to x bar or in other words n hat is equal to x bar by p hat or it can also be written as x bar by 1 minus s x by x bar therefore n hat is equal to x bar squared divided by x bar minus so that is the expression for uh, the uh, number of values or the value n that is the estimate for n so to summarize uh, in this video, we have looked at the moment method of our estimation of parameters of binomial distribution. So, the binomial distribution is characterized by 
sorry the binomial distribution is characterized by two parameters n and p n is the maximum value of the random value random variable x and p is the probability parameter so uh, from theory we know that the mean value of the random variable x is given by n into p and the variance is given by n p into 1 minus p and from data we have sample mean is equal to arithmetic average and the sample variance is equal to 1 by n square of the uh, sorry summation of the square deviation so and then by equating these two results we have np is equal to sample mean and np into 1 minus p is equal to sample variance so from by simply using these two equations we can show that p hat is equal to 1 minus sample variance by sample mean and similarly uh, the value of n that is a n hat is given by uh, sample mean by uh, the estimate of the parameter p or in other words x bar square by x bar minus sx the sample variance so thus we have derived the uh, estimates for the parameters of binomial distribution using the moment method using the moments method thanks for watching